uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you a library of react where you can just with the help of this library you can select elements so the name of the library is pretty simple which is react dash select this is the official documentation about this plugin on npmjs.com it has got these these much of weekly downloads so it is a popular plugin and the command is very simple npmi react dash dash select so I will be using a online website which is code sandbox to create a sandbox so you did not have to create an account you just need to go to this web, web address code sandbox dot io and then you create a react project just click on this option create sandbox and then select the technology I am using react here so basically in five seconds it has provided me a demo react project so now we just need to add this dependency so we will click this add dependency button like this to react to add this dependency which is react we will search for this dependency react dash select so this is a dependency which is a select control built with and for react.js just click it and in the background it will install this plugin inside this project so just wait it is doing this and now basically it is uh, given in the documentation I will just first of all import this so you need to import this like this so just after you import react here copy this line import select from react select like this so it is saying quick fix let me just fix this problem so it is saying to us that we haven't used this select is defined but never used so we also need to use it so first of all I will just have these options here so I will declare this inside here so basically these are the options which will be there inside the select box now we just need to what can I do here is that I can just copy paste this whole snippet like this so this is a class level component of react so I can just copy paste all this code inside my let me just delete this paste this and now you will see that it will compile this so it will say that we need to export this so export default now you can see that we have got this select box and we have got three options here chocolate strawberry and vanilla so basically I can just also open this inside another tab here if I copy this and paste it here this is the my address of my react application so basically um, I just need to refresh this so for the changes to take place I need to click on this auto save like this and if I again refresh this and now you will see that if I just zoom in so this is a select box here and now with the help of this select box I can just select any kind of entry here let's suppose you can have as many options as you can have you need to add this inside this array here if I add another entry let's suppose put a comma here again put a comma if you have to have multiple entries so this is as simple as that if I refresh it you will see the changes will take place now you will see that it will have more entries like this so this is a very simple process by which you can just use this library which is react.select if you want to have a select box inside your react.js application you can just use this plugin which is react select and you can add this dependency inside your project first of all you need to import this select from react select and then you need to create options so basically this is kind of an array of objects each 
entry has a two properties first is value and second is label and these are set of objects here you can see that we have provided first value as chocolate and the label is also chocolate second is strawberry the label is also strawberry after creating these options now we are just creating this uh, we are rendering out the select box using the select tag we are providing the value here using our uh, handle change method here so this, we have defined the state here you can see that selected option is null early on but as you change the value we have defined this handle change function it will be selecting this option and it will be binding that option to the state here with the help of this dot set state and then we are console logging the option which has select by the user it has got the second property on change we have binded this method here this dot handle change and the third entry is the set of options that you provide here inside this array so this is a third argument so this was a very simple tutorial I guided you from scratch that how to make a simple select box in react application using react select library so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much